Lousy smart. Hello. <clears throat> Hiya, Ducky. Um, sounds aren't working. I don't. Let me restart streamer bot. I don't know what's happening. Do not know what's going on. Nada. Everything is all connected. I don't know what's happening. The flippity flop. Button. So the ones that are you in OBS are working. Now you turn my turn. I push the button. But great, wonderful. What the hell? I don't know why the sounds aren't working. That means the the. None of this shit's gonna... Why? Why all of a sudden is shit not working? I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. OBS is connected. We're good. We're gold, apparently. All right. Don't think it's the web socket. think anyway I have absolutely no idea what's happening here no it's not a twitch thing it's just an OBS thing I don't it yeah it's all it's all accurate something's borked something's borky to borked bork No flipping clue. Oh well. Wonderful. That's just wonderful. I... Oh well. Welcome in, everybody. Hope everyone's having a wonderful whatever freaking day it is. What is it? Thursday? Yeah, I got to see I got to see the end real quick before before I came on. Button's not working. 
I mean, it's working. I didn't take your button away. You can do the exclamation button. <laughs> but for some reason, the emotes, there's no sound to them. Something happened in my bot. See? None of the sounds. I don't even know if mom's thing. Because look, you can still do. No, I pushed the button. No, you pushed the button. I pushed the button. Now your turn, my turn. I pushed the button. I don't know what happened. Um, Maybe after I restart the computer later, it'll work again. I, I don't. Well, it's not a stream if something isn't wrong, right? <laughs> like, if there's no technical difficulties, you're doing something wrong. Uh, I know you have to poke at me. Um, but yeah, no, I was happy to see them do that. Piece of candy. No idea what that is. What just came out of my drink? We're going to hope it was paper somehow. I don't know. Waste of candy. See the emotes. Anything that's supposed to play from streamer bot is not playing. Hmm, I wonder, wait, hang on. What if? I don't get it, and I restarted and everything. Like, I don't... Like for updates? We're up to date. <clears throat> No clue. Because I don't even think mom's entrance will work now. Okay, so mom's shit works. Oh, but it's not playing not. from. Here comes mama. It's not playing from. Okay, so that's good. That was okay. I just, I was just testing it. I just, I can't believe that. It's not working. It's. Edit trigger. Okay. I'll come over here. Uh, button emote. Edit. What's going on? Try to ignore bot account why that would be anything nope nothing okay well that's great oh well i i just have no clue then none whatsoever how would ducky go Oh, wait, why is it showing you there but not here? What the hell's going on? There is something wrong with streamer bot, I guess, or something, because. Huh. Wait 
wait a minute. I think I know. 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 I think I got it. I think I can do this. Hold on. I got to figure out how to remember. Where is it? 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 Settings. General. No, I pushed a button. No, you pushed a button. I pushed a button. Now your turn, my turn. No, no. Yahoo! All right. My last update for freaking whatever fucked it up and I fixed it. Okay. Yay! <laughs> you need to wake up? I need to wake up too, apparently. Uh, and there's mom. <laughs> welcome, Ready or hope, not, welcome home, here Mama. Comes Mama. Hope everything went okay with the notary. Oh man, <laughs> I got my pool of blood warming back here. Um, doesn't it look? It looks red, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Call you after? Okay. Did you get shit explained to you at all, or? I We just started, like, we've been on 20 minutes. So, um... I wanted to watch uh, Danny and his partner play uh, Tiny Toons. Oh, I was just wondering if maybe there was a, you know, you wanting me to call you was tied to... that. Like maybe you got an explanation of the fees or something, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. My my head's a little ow. Yes and no. Okay. You know, my brain my brain my brain no worky so good today. Um It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Emphasis on the latter. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're doing some Daymare 1994 today and tomorrow. Hopefully it's not as difficult as what happened with the death loop and tormented souls. Um, ooh, you don't have a worm hole? Oh. Okay. Weird. What just happened? Okay, mom, that's cool. Oh, because you hit it before it popped up, so it wasn't ready for you yet. And why don't I have, I need to, okay, hold on. We need, we're gonna do some editing here uh, on this scene. Give me just a mo. Here, Put down there, lock it.
pocket. Okay. Sweet. One more. I think this will take me a moment. Browser. Thing. What I need to do. Okay, this is going to take me a mo. Um, filters. Turn the color key off. Actually, set proper. There. Filters, put the color key back on, close, lock it. Bam, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I had forgotten to add this shit when I rebuilt everything. There, now it's all. Yeah, buddy. I don't have it on this screen either. smaller lock it I'm a pro streamer. I make sure all this is done before I start, I swear. That's a word, right? Now we're ready. Now we're now we're cooking. <laughs> Fuck. All right, let's do this.
Is it working in Danny's at all? See if it'll work for me. Yay! Fuck it, I want it as bright as possible. We're doing story mode. Players who are unfamiliar with action games and only want to enjoy the main story. Well, that's not true. But enemies are weaker. <laughs> more available resources. And apparently something called frost grip is more efficient. No, I don't want the HUD always visible. I don't think I already did that, did that. We're good, we're good, we're good. And confirm. Do this, you guys. One way to start a game. <laughs> Mountain cool. <laughs> and look at how old this shit is. I mean, it is 1994. no hard facts regarding the cause of the terrible accident that took place this morning in the town of Rachel, Nevada. A school bus carrying 40 students from Clover High School overturned, turning what should have been an ordinary school trip into a tragedy. Unfortunately, two deaths have already been confirmed. At the time of the accident, a series of okay, rushed tremors were reported in the neighboring area, causing extensive damage to buildings and a growing sense of alarm among local residents. The causes of the incident are still unknown. The town is famous all over the world for local urban legends featuring alleged supernatural phenomena and for its proximity to Groom Lake USAF Flight Development Center, better known as Area 51, making the town a popular tourist destination. That's the green light from the DOD. Finally, we're good to go. It's code red. It only took them 10 hours to figure it out. They must have pulled out all the stops. Let me guess. Are we leaving? Damn straight. Get your ass off that chair. Foster's orders. Effective immediately, and you do not want to keep him waiting. At your command, Major. What are you doing? I have a surprise for you. prototype from my college days. I abandoned it a while back, but I just started working on it again. What the hell is that? That's gratitude for you. Come on, give me your arm. I needed to test the device. So, what do you think? Data interchange device. D I D. It detects your location in real time. Are you sure this thing won't rip my arm off? Come on, give me a break. 
I'll need it to keep track of your ass when you get lost. I'm gonna rendezvous with Foster. Join us at the heliport. We leave in a few minutes. Got it. Interesting. So she's the one who developed the DID. Now remember, this is a prequel to a game we played previously. It's not horrible, but like, I mean, for a somewhat indie developer, it's not bad. You know, the art. ID features, checklist, field resource management, makes one of the trouble keeping track of how much ammo and med kits I have left, geolocation implemented, file archiving, blah, 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 blah. Dalia Reyes, military and marines, technical support, espionage and infiltration operations, fire pop! Hey! All uh, right, expertise, electronic engineering, telecommunications, IT, tactical combat, hand to hand, blah, blah, fucking blah. Time has finally come to field test the DID. Sweet. Fine, I didn't want to get around to you that way. Anyways, douche waffle. How you doing, fire pup? Speaking of pups, hi puppy. Hi puppy, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Okay, you lay down. Uh, 
I'm doing okay. Hey, Alphabet is on rest. Leaving the field to the ladies. Grab your weapons, you'll need them. Well, enjoy the paperwork then. Enjoy the shitstorm. Very funny. Cool. in a good mood. Is that a good sign? At ease, Reyes. We have a code red with immediate effect and maximum secrecy. Destination, Area 51. Don't get carried away. It isn't an episode of your favorite TV show. When you're ready, some of the mission information is classified by order of the Department of Defense. But what you need to know is very simple. We have to meet a certain Dr. Noah Anderson, the only person who managed to communicate with the outside world following the incident. Yeah, who is this Anderson? I don't have all the details. All I know, he's one of the eggheads in charge of the government program that we're working on down there. Codename, Project Hoax. I'm no scientist, but I'd say something didn't go according to plan. <laughs> Maybe somebody pressed the wrong button. <laughs> what were they working on? Well, Reyes, that's exactly the kind of question we aren't supposed to ask. The instructions from the DOD were clear. Meet the contact and retrieve the briefcase. That's what you get paid for. That's all you need to know. We have to collect a package, basically. And a package of a certain value, given that the commander is coming along for the ride. That's correct. My personal supervision was requested. I'll fill you in during the flight. Mm. Let's move out. There's no time to waste. Well, let's go then. Good luck, and don't fuck it up. with the glitches okay you know what Once I have control to go to the menu. Let's say there's a tricky internal issue that makes the operation well delicate from a diplomatic point of view. Give it to us straight. After Rachel, the president sealed the base for all military forces. Nobody can get in or out except going to bed, baby? Men. The HCO's people have been on site for a few hours, escorted by a special squadron reporting the TV was to off. him. HCO? Why bring in scientists? I'd be more worried about Section 8. Mr. President called the shots. He's trying to get a clear picture. Obviously, oh, yeah. the secretary's hiding <laughs> something, but okay. since he's the one who writes the checks, Let me sure the outside light is on it. From the United States government. Caution. Military permits to enter and cross the no-fly zone are canceled with immediate effect. Reverse Sounds like the president won't 
won't be welcoming us with open arms. Yeah, if he doesn't stick his guard dogs on us. Don't worry. We'll soon put his mind at ease. Who was in the bedroom? Only after touch the DOD has secured the contents of that briefcase. That's why it's essential that we locate the contact before them and, if necessary, make their visit. Yeah, this is getting really annoying. Shit! <laughs> Pail and shovel, huh? Yippee! <laughs> Darkness has fallen by the time the Hades team lands in the middle of the Nevada desert, not far from the Groom Lake military base. The area is under the extraordinary jurisdiction of Section 8, a special unit that takes its orders directly from the president. Their current orders are to are to deny any access to the facility and to investigate the causes of the mysterious incident that has compromised the entire area. Special Infiltration Operation Sandcastle. Please go. You're about five clicks from base. As you move up the hillside, you should be out of their line of sight. Don't keep me waiting. Weird. Base camp looks deserted. Move out. Eyes open. I just want access to the menu. All I want. This isn't the welcome I was expecting. You never abandoned a base camp. Something must have happened. Too easy. Let's see if that works out. Went from quality mode to performance mode. We'll see how that plays, huh? Oh, the run animation sucks. They left something behind. Check it out. Uh oh. This is the real deal. Looks like they used it to unlock the security system and access the facility. I don't understand. That's all I hit, okay. It looks like it melted. The control panel is gone, gone too. I'll have to find another way. And quickly too. That's why you're here. Find a way to get us in. Okay. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Now 
it's all blocked off. Nothing's popping up there. Alright. Now I can come over here. Why would they leave everything like this? Legs again with the baby? Hey, oh my god, you scared me. This Welcome in. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Oh. How was your stream? How was the Mortal Kombat? Huh? This is Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Okay. And it's you want to hear what it does when you put quarters in? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have fun with that. <laughs> Welcome in everybody, Raiders. For those of you that don't know me, I'm that casual gaming guy. I'm a variety streamer. We're doing Smart, aka Scary March. <laughs> Alan Wake 2, Tormented Souls, and Daymare 1994 are the three games that we're starting with. Might be the only three games we play all month. Who knows? It depends on how they go. Uh, like Tormented Souls, I'm stuck in a freaking death loop. But we just started this one. We're just getting into it. Because uh, I started a little late today because I wanted to uh, watch another streamer play some Tiny Tunes. But, Cage, you know the drill. If you gotta go, you gotta lurk, gotta eat, get ready for work, all that good stuff, please feel free to do so. Don't need to stick around completely on my account, but you know I love you. Anybody who is lurking, feel free to continue to lurk. We are a lurk-friendly channel here. And I hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Let's do it. Let's get back to it, huh? Ooh. Hey, hey. Stream good? Ah, you know the drill. <laughs> you know, the, the whole hope your stream went well. If you got shit like, you know, using the bathroom or anything else, eating, getting ready for work, all that stuff, please feel free to go do so. Leave a lurk if you want. All that good shit. We literally are just getting started in the game because I started late. That's that's the gist of what you missed. All right, <clears throat> March eleventh, nineteen ninety four. Thirty years ago in a couple of days, huh? Kind of fitting that we're playing this now. Uh, <laughs> Federal Emergency Management Agency, aka FEMA, to Section Eight Tactical Elite Command, Crisis Prevention and Counterterrorism Division, Operations Coordination Director Sergeant Agora, RE Operation Dreamland. Executive orders. Phase one. Mobilize the primary Section 8 team and set up an external base camp at Groom Lake USAF Flight Development Center. Deny access at the perimeter to any individual not authorized by the POTUS office. Phase two. Provide first aid and evacuate facility personnel. Personnel will be authorized to leave only after undergoing a full body search followed by a period of quarantine to be defined within a federal facility. Any individuals found to be in possession of U.S. government property are to be, are to be immediately detained for interrogation. 
Phase three, disarm the facility's security system and unblock all access points to the interior areas of the base. Phase four, await the arrival of the health control organization team and escort them inside the research center. Phase five, initiate investigation of the interior, including the production of photographic material and requisition of any eventual documentation related to research and experimentation. Once gathered, this material is to be archived, sealed, and delivered directly to White House staff by HCO team. Phase six. Secure and guard the facility pending subsequent orders to be issued exclusively from the POTUS office. White House Executive Office Chief of Staff, Jay Whitmore. Someone didn't like the light. Something's going on. I just intercepted a message from God knows where. It didn't sound good. It must be a Mogwai. This is getting weird. Eyes open, Reyes. Switchblade key holder. This is a sequel. Well, a prequel. And uh very glitchy graphically in the cutscenes at first so i switched it from um uh quality perform quality mode to performance mode We're in Area 51. Oh, cool. Yeah, so uh, you've, you've played the first one, right? You've played 98, um, haven't you? Or you watched me play it, probably. Um, Let's see if I can restore access to the main facility from there. Negative, okay. So they mentioned Operation, yeah, they mentioned Operation Sandcastle throughout the game. And uh, this is Operation Sandcastle. flashlight cool okay look another game with a flashlight uh i think that all the games my area my spider senses are telling me i can reactivate access to the main facility from there but i'll have to find a way in spider as i like it Like that sound.
Okay, now I know what that sound is. It's like the bobbleheads in Resident Evil 7 and 8. Or no, 8 was the ghosts. Bobbleheads were 3 and 7. No idea what the code is. Still did not like that sound though. On the fucking slightest. That was creepy, eerie, and made me freaking anxious and nervous. Oh, come on, I want some water. <laughs> no, not sure. Is that pick up a bowl? No. So what's the deal with this room anyway? Water go down the hole. That's right. Water go down the hole. Oh, yeah. Human Resources Office, Security Locker, Lock Combination Sequence, there we go, 215. So now you know where I hid what you've been looking for these last couple of days. Saving your ass, I might add. Keep track of your shit. Especially when it comes to reboot cards and all that crap you maintenance guys use. Ew. I like to think it's a pretty simple concept, but I'm starting to wonder if I need to brand it on your ass with a hot iron. Like I'm a fucking cattle herder. I should be so lucky. Cows would be better equipped to memorize a few simple rules that apply down here. This is your last warning. You might be willing to piss off Uncle Sam and risk a cushy government paycheck, but I have no intention of rocking the boat. I need something to reboot the system. Yes, we need to go get it from the thingamabobber. Probably when we open that, something's gonna jump out at us. The electrical system of the entire facility seems to be damaged. As if there was a major overload. Trying to work out what happened. I'll keep you posted. Let's have it right at the very end. And that's how Regina George died. I need to watch the new Mean Girls. Now that it's on streaming. see what happened on the lower floor. Sucks having to wait, huh? Hey, Roddick, are you receiving me? Five by five. I've got the electricity back on. If I can access the facility's mainframe, I should be able to take control of the auxiliary generators and bypass security. Yeah, we're glad you're having fun with your toys, MacGyver. Just open this fucking door. <sighs> Troglodytes. Uh... wasn't there before. Let's see what the scanner has to say. If 
I had an override cable, I could open this door with my eyes closed. All right, we're in an ad. So I'm going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Go right for the body parts that you think is correct. <laughs> it is a male Pikachu. I'm horrible. <laughs> Stores it in its cheeks. <laughs> ding, 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 you got it. <laughs> Pikachu stores its electricity in the electric sacks in its cheeks. If you poke the sacks, you'll get a little shock. But don't you think they're just super round and cute? But she's probably ready to cut glass with them nipples. I'll tell ya. Just looking at how cold that room is, my nipples got hard. Why'd I say that? Let's dance, bitches! Like a fucking ballerina or something, you know? Ooh, our HP is about to go up. <laughs> what is my You probably don't remember, but you, you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. Ah, that's the kind of shopping you're doing. Got it. What is this, the 2000s? All right, I'm in. That was way too much solid snake. Not enough jizz. <laughs> solid snake, jizz, get it? <laughs> All right, we're just about back in two, one. Zero. Welcome back. If you were gone to begin with. <laughs> All right. Oof. We need an override cable. Was I ever truly even here? Are any of us? Ever here? We truly. And we have a Vulpix! Concentrate. There should be a terminal for rebooting the power systems around here somewhere. Oh, I see it, it's over there. Everything should be operational. Please confirm. Yeah, I confirm. Doors open now. Reyes, get back here right now. We wasted too much time already. Okay. Fuck you, Foster. You Christopher Walken looking motherfucker. Shit. This electrical system is completely fucked. Oh, 
only thing that's fucked. Yes, yes, I figured you needed to go to work. Time to open that security door. Try to have a good night at work, sir. I love you, Cage. Love you, brah. Love you, brah! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Q6S8W. Research facility. According to the maps of the base, this area shouldn't exist. I don't know if we're going down the hole or up the hole, but what the fuck is that? With power restored to the main office facility, Reyes finds herself trapped inside due to the resulting reactivation of the security system. Time is tight, so Foster and Radic revise the original plan and decide to make their own way towards the lower levels. Hoping to rendezvous with Agent Reyes inside the base. Using her hacking skills, Reyes stumbles across what appears to be a secret hidden passage into an undisclosed area of the base. Reyes, where are you? Good question. Listen, we've been attacked by something. We weren't prepared for this shit. Proceed with extreme caution. What the fuck are you talking about? Section 8? No, there's still no trace of him. We don't know what the hell it is. Let's find this fucking Anderson and get out of here as soon as possible. No sign of life. By all means, please move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. Ten points if you get the reference. Jeez. Something is not right here. I found some Section 8 bodies. A couple were burned to death. Christ, those assholes. 
all screwed up big time. There are signs of a fight. I wonder what they were trying to escape from. Listen, we're close to that damn briefcase. I don't give a fuck what killed them. I need your ass over here, okay? Understood. On my way. Be careful. Silly Mr. Boy. Damn, nothing works in this place. At my feet. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's your treats from daddy? You don't want your treats? Where are your boy boys? You don't want treats? You want cuddles and snuggles? Oh. What's going on, dude? All right, come here. Oh, come on, my boy, my baby boy. Let's go over here for a minute, shall we? My baby boy, boy. Oh, huh? there's my little girl. Hi. I hear you, Boober. I know you're broken. You have to head to grandma? Is that what you wanted? And it comes to head to grandma? Silly boy boy. You should eat your treats though. Dang. Oh boy boy. <laughs> All right, baby, come on. Oh, sinking his claws back into me. All right, let's go back to the game then. Okay. Okay. I hear you. I hear you, my baby. There it is. I was gonna say I hear it. Hey Rodak, I'm in a weird laboratory. I found more Section Eight corpses. Yeah, we also found bodies. Fuckers were burned to a crisp. Anyway, we're moving towards our goal. We've located the contact in a completely burned out area. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll <laughs> join you as soon as I find a way out of here. I am talking about Aqua. She's at my feet. She's broken. He's trying to get away from the broken. Laptop hard drive access, decryption process incomplete, data downloaded to DID, partially decrypted information. Following in-depth molecular composition analysis, RAM 77 proved to be a metal with unique characteristics. It's unparalleled eclectic. Right. 
electromagnetic absorption capabilities make this alloy uniquely blah 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 refinement procedures from its raw state are to be considered fundamental when refined to its purest form the bars must be kept at a temperature no higher than zero degrees celsius in the case of extraordinary potential has been confirmed over onto the desk in both civil and military applications research carried out by the u.s progress technician has brought to light an exceptional any additional information regarding the use and provenance of the metal has been classified by the dod <laughs> She's tickling my feet with her face. <laughs> Where are you going, boy boy? Here, come here. Come here. No, no, no. I got your treats, dude. Come here. Oh. Yes. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, come, come. Come. Get ahead of Grandma. Get ahead of Grandma. Get ahead of Grandma. Get ahead of Grandma. Go chase after him. Go get him. <laughs> okay. I now have new holes in my skin. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. I hate to step on your corpses, but uh, I'm gonna step on your corpses. Uh. Okay. This 
can't be happening. Did that weird ball of energy just break it back to life? That's right, that's what happened. Oh, that's the way I came before. Okay. Um, so then do I come back this way? Oh, back up the ladder then? Scratcher. Hi, Boober. Hi, Mama. Is it in this the elevator or whatever? No, the elevator was. Uh oh. Oh dear. Are you receiving me? Radek! Oh, shit. Radek's DID locator is active, but it doesn't seem to be moving. I hope. No. I don't even want to think about it. Oh no, I'm green. Noise. 
Well, what's this way? Oh, the light. Okay. A ship inside Area 51. Yep. Not the kind of ship you think it would be either. <laughs> <laughs> Radek, are you receiving me? Please respond. I've located the burned out area. Radek, are you receiving me? or nothing like that would be useful you still here Farquaad? no okay Look, there's a ship in the middle of Area 51. Let's just get on it. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Mother. Bears repeating, mother, another ten points if you get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> she just keeps juggling my feet with her face.
I will say they did good. They did good. This is anxiety inducing. Perfect for survival horror. What the? I've never seen anything like it. Go into the light. Dizzy. But real quick, I'm gonna take a drink. Reyes is attacked by the reanimated corpses of Section 8 soldiers, brought back to a twisted mockery of life by an ominous electromagnetic phenomenon. Things go from bad to worse when Reyes receives an urgent message from Radic via her DID. Unable to make radio contact, Reyes activates the geolocation function on her DID in an attempt to trace the origin of Radic's signal, hoping she can get to him before it's too late. For over 20 years, I've been working for the Navy, supervising the most advanced covert shipyards across the nation. I never imagined that I'd wind up down here building a ship, that is. For all intents and purposes, invisible. We've been working on this marble for over a year now. Our work is progressing extremely slowly, but nobody around here seems to be in any rush. I know it isn't unusual to take your time on operations. 
with government funding, but in special facilities like this one, they usually keep our noses to the grindstone, working 24-hour shifts. Down here, though, one delay seems to run into another continuously. Apparently, the big holdup is scouring... Wow, I read that wrong. The big holdup is sourcing the raw materials. I suppose there can't be many metals that are practically invisible to radar. I tried to find out when we could expect the next delivery, but the guys upstairs must have decided I don't have the necessary security clearance. At this point, all I'm worried about is making sure my work is all wrapped up by the time the test team arrives to activate that enormous electromagnetic wave cannon. I don't want to be anywhere near this place when that shitstorm hits the middle of the Nevada desert. And a shitstorm it was, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all the bodies. The bodies hit the floor. Was there anything over here for me? Negative. Move out, soldier. Those noises again. I can't hear them anymore. It's like they just disappeared. <laughs> Rodex locator is nearby. He must be around here somewhere. Last one till the next break. Ugh, save your resuscitation techniques for those two nice guys down there. Don't be a dick. What happened? Where's Foster? He's chasing an old friend. What? We found the contact with Section 8 gathered before us. They tried to negotiate. They didn't want any trouble. But you were in a hurry, right? Not me this time. It was the commander. He was in no mood for small talk. He blew the briefcase out of Anderson's grip along with most of his arm. He shot the contact? Yeah. Kinda took me by surprise. Where's the briefcase? He took it. We killed two of them, but then... That guy... The one who took me out, even Foster couldn't hit him. I don't know what happened to him. Who are you talking about? He was Section 8. Foster called him Gora. He was given orders like he was straight from the goddamn movies, but he wasn't fucking around. He and Foster seemed to know each other. Maybe that's why they were playing nice at first, or maybe the whole thing was just a fucking trap. Calm down. You can't stand. You'll have to wait here. We have the briefcase. We'll be out of here soon. Uh, if we find Foster before Gora does. Whatever it is, it's a big deal. Foss talks about it like it's the holy fucking grail. Jesus Christ, Roddick. Haven't you seen what's out there? Yeah, I have. I can't explain it. They seem to be animated by some kind of electromagnetic anomaly. Have you been playing scientists with those goddamn monsters? I found a laboratory. They were researching some kind of metal. It must have something to do with all this. Listen. Foster knows a lot more than he's letting on. But you should stay out of this. You're not prepared for this. You need to get out of here right now. No way. Get back out there. You need to wait for Foster and me to wrap things up. We don't need you here. Are you kidding? You can barely move. Look at you. 
Haven't you noticed? Bullets are not enough. You'll get fried as soon as you step out that door. They broke my radio. If we split up, we won't even be able to communicate. Exactly. You need to stay here. I'm going to find Foster. Absolutely not! Are you serious? I... I am giving you an order, Reyes. Listen. Do you think I'm scared of any of it? This place? Or fucking court-martial? You said so yourself. All I have to go back to is an empty apartment. I can't lose you two. Reyes. Oh, uh... Get out of here! Reyes! Open this goddamn door! I mean he's injured. Sorry, Major. I'll be back for you later. Now, Foster doesn't have any kind of locator. How the hell am I supposed to find him in this maze? This proton pack thing works. Water is essential for human life. Sure is. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a stretch. <laughs> Thank you.
That's gonna take a moment to recharge. Or Crada. Oh, macros. I asked Mama. I asked Mama Boober. Or not the Mama Boober. <laughs> My silly girl from the cave with this. Oh, I can't go back in. Okie dokie. I wanted to see if I could put that fire out. Oh, that's okay. Now the question is, is do we go from largest Okay, we did it! <laughs> the funny farm.
Hawkins, do you read me? Do you read me? If you can hear this, if there's anybody out there, listen up. The only way to stop these vile health fuckers is by freezing them. Before attempting your ascent, get to the central laboratory and grab as many frost grips as you can get your hands on. They're your only hope of getting out of this damn bottomless pit alive. Uh, sorry, guys. I was so close. My tank's empty. It's okay. Everything's hunky dory. If I'm going down, I'm taking you ugly bastards with me. Uh, pew, 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 pew. Yes, please. Can I have? Let's see what else I can do with this thing. Oh, we got an ad starting soon. Perfect. written all over it. Nothing yet, okay. Now let's go save it. Perfect. All right. Since there's an ad starting any second, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Hang tight. Watching over all of Prism Island like some sort of stalker creeper. I think he's happy with it. I can feel him. It... I'm a horrible human being and should be canceled right away. <laughs> My fucking god, you guys, we did it! 
Yes. But she's probably ready to cut glass with them nipples. I'll tell ya. Just looking at how cold that room is, my nipples got hard. Why'd I say that? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm usually uh, getting off just about now. Or, excuse me. Also, the power of friendship! Oh, rainbows and puppies and unicorns and stickers and shit! Like, now there's gonna be this new thing. Now that we have, we have bears, we have otters, we have wolves. Now we'll have woodchucks! They're just hairy sluts! <sighs> kind of balls! Don't you hate it when you're ballless? Unkempt sheep, yes. Sheep. <laughs> it's like it's really it's 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 really bad. It's super look at that. It's it's just it's <laughs> it's horrendific. <laughs> Stash. Yeah, uh, you. What do you think of me jar collection then? Pretty amazing. Hmm. Don't you say? Welly, welly, well. We can't just let you look at them for free, now can we? No. Cross your fingers, they don't freaking die. Oh no! Me and my big fucking mouth. Oh. Let's dance, bitches! Like a fucking ballerina or something, you know? Ooh, our HP is about to go up. <laughs> Where's my Welcome back? Let's play just a little bit more. Just a smidgen. Well, I can't go any further until I realign the platforms. How do we do that? That one really. in this shithole. I hope there's another control panel upstairs. I'll have to reach it. Aqua, baby. Doodle Boober. Doodle Boober. Feels like I'm on the set of one of those crappy Area 51 movies. See those progress building those weird looking planes?
cool. At least these are easier to find than the ones in Resident Evil. Oh, I really don't like the looks of this. Note, for assembly line workers, use extreme caution when operating the main platform of the elevator system. As predicted, the center block brake has now worn out completely. This means that if you load too much weight, the piston will overheat and the platform will collapse. I'm still trying to convince the fucking supervisors to look up from their goddamn computers for a minute to see what's going on in the real world and maybe track down the spare part I requested two fucking weeks ago. Uh, for now, keep load weights to a minimum, and if the piston starts overheating, try to cool it down somehow. Follow this procedure, and be careful. Medical insurance doesn't seem to apply down here. If there is an accident, you'll probably end up getting buried in a discreet cemetery in the middle of the fucking desert. Oh, my nose itches, my nose itches, it itches, it itches, it itches, yeah. Cheers. Oh, yeah, you fuck. Project Hoax, for real. They couldn't have come up with a more appropriate code name if they tried, given the work we're actually doing down here. If constructing the most advanced aircraft ever conceived isn't going to be called a hoax, then what is? And right in the middle of the Nevada desert, too. Well, under the Nevada desert, to be precise. So, commies, do you want to know where you can shove your spy planes now? <laughs> Thanks to Ram 77, what was only a dream is finally becoming a reality. Aircraft constructed with a metal alloy so unique that it makes them practically invisible. No radar in existence can detect them. Our next stealth fighters could drop a bomb on the Kremlin in the blink of an eye, and the Russians would only know about it after they heard the explosion. It broke you? Oh, no. I saw a little bit. I saw a little bit of, of you and Babs. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't think you saw my comment. Because I came in during a commercial break. 
and uh, I said, yeah, I can. I love Tiny Toons, but I could never get into the sequel game for the NES. I saw a little bit of that. I don't know where in the losing it it was, but you were losing it. Uh, <laughs> you were in the process for sure. <laughs> I've been coordinating skunk works all my life. Skunk works. The fuck? But Ram 77 has pushed the agenda forward by more than a century, following on from the F117. Jason's watching TikTok in the bedroom. I can hear him. Uh, and our recent work on the Remora. Thank you for the lurk, baby. Watching. Need to lay down? That's fine. That's fine. The Tinfoil Hat Brigade keeps saying we're working on UFOs at Area 51. Well, they may be on to something. And some of these rockets, though, like, can we use them as rocket launchers? That'd be awesome, right? Okay. Up from here. Now I gotta get around. Get around this way. All the freaking way back around. Oh, this is gonna be wonderful! I knew that was gonna fucking happen. <laughs> I just knew it.
Holy shit. I can't believe this. We just teleported out of nowhere. This is getting worse and worse. Okay. Oh, that was the other game. battery for him. Like, wait, don't I need a battery? And that was Tormented Souls, dumbass. Reyes continues her search for Foster, using the frost grip to resist the relentless attacks of the foul creatures that lurk throughout the underground base. The path ahead follows a trail of blood between the corpses of base personnel and the dead Section 8 soldiers who had managed to make it this far into the bowels of the facility. What began as a routine infiltration mission has become a desperate battle for survival. Is it raining men? Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Rain indoors? I mean, that's some next level engineering. Oh man, that looked like it would have been a save for him. How the hell did you get here? It looks like part of the wing of an airliner. The scan sample has a clean cut with a glowing surface. I haven't been able to identify what kind of technology would be capable of doing this. It also seems to have a residual electromagnetic frequency almost identical to that admitted by those strange beings. The presence of the of this of the of the of the of the of the of the the presence of the object at its current location is completely inexplicable. Maybe the higher levels will be able to shed more light it's on like it. It's like a clean cut. How is that possible?
Oh, an upgrade station. Ooh. I'm gonna go with tank capacity. Pages are splattered with blood. It looks like someone read it recently. Water supply plant. Attention, in the event that the security system is activated due to an ongoing emergency, the entire water supply facility will automatically be sealed off. The containment protocol entails the total stoppage of the RXD elevator in the main area. This will make it impossible to leave the facility or reach the lower levels without the emergency release key that is housed in the release key box. The closing off of certain internal areas to any operator not in possession of a maximum security level badge. Note, internal staff and emergency services will retain access to the upper and lower levels of the facility via the emergency ladders located in the security rooms. If an emergency situation arises in your sector, contact your supervisor immediately. Case. If it's our briefcase, that means he met Foster. I have to get to him. I'm assuming I can't just go after him. Well, this way. All right, cool. Go this way. Perfection. All right. Cool. Totally awesome. Turtly awesome. All right. <laughs> We're going to do some shouts if, if you are lurking and you hear yourself shouted out, it's just because I think you're awesome and everybody here deserves, deserves. <laughs> Everybody here should be following you because you deserve it. <laughs> I can talk. I swear I've only been doing it for what? 39 years. Um, maybe 38. I don't know. <laughs> oh, we'll be back on this tomorrow. I promise. Until then. Yeah, let's do some shouties. Um, because I was about to go into my goodbye speech. No, we need to shout. Because we need to let it all out. You know I'm subbing, girl. I'll sub for you any day. Yeah, it was too far. Oh, oh Ashley, you stupid bitch! <laughs> oh, no. She is. I knew she was part of the enemy. Ashley. I love that, Ashley. You stupid she bitch. Is so bad. Because <laughs> Ashley is a stupid bitch. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, you'll have some input. Hey, Keith, I'm thinking about getting a, a, a foot sucking emote. What do you think? I've been Ow. asking oh, everybody if this has been coming in. Knocked my teeth together on that one, Ducky. <laughs> Six, you're just unwell. You. <laughs> I guess I can't approach her like that. Um. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? so much Stage. like white noise bullshit will follow all these people let's see who's next Let's see who's next. It's Mr. Wrong, because Mr. Okay. Wrong is awesome. Definitely gleaned this bitch. Who took the chance of a succeeded? Oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh my god. I didn't know. I didn't know. It literally was just by chance. Oh, the horrible remakes. <laughs> Why did I shout out? T, T, why did I shout you out? I, I had a brain brain issue there, I guess. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's add your partner. <laughs> Probably who I wanted to shout. <laughs> my apologies for that one. Uh, that was just, uh, yeah. Toonie. Where am I going? I'm losing it, folks. I think I was thinking I needed health, but I need a rocket launcher. Those are two very different things to need in life. Now people say, well, you know, at least you have your health. Well, you know, at least you have your rocket launcher. <laughs> I love that one so much. We need to add about. Did what we. Oh, you did? Okay. That's a mine there, Trouts. That's probably good. I literally was like, you don't have to crouch tubes and you fuck it. I murdered those. Good. Good, Rose. You killed both of us. I know. Pseudo. I like this area. Wait, that's a shiny size large. What the heck? That was completely out of the blue, unexpected, not even what I'm looking for. Oh, I want one. <laughs> All righty, y'all. This is it. <laughs> this is it. That was bad. <laughs> hey, no worries, no worries, no worries. We're going to head on over to Mr. Tuba. Swan, because we love our tuba. Weird messages. Yeah, yeah, yo, yo. We'll be back tomorrow with more Daymare 1994. Until then, remember to keep it casual. I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful evening or whatever time of day it is in your little corner of the world. Bye-bye now.